Hi, I'm Tom Garrity with Compass Point. Welcome to Conversations That Family Biz Matters. So we've been talking about business value, about driving business value, and why this is so important for a business owner. You know, in the end, I think most business owners, at least the ones that want to create a legacy, are thinking about how do I, you know, I want to create wealth out of this business, and I want to create a business that's transferable, that actually can have a legacy. In order to do that, we've got to drive value. We just use the terminology value acceleration, but it's about driving value in the business that somebody in the future would pay for and continue the, the legacy of that business. Remember last time we talked about how to get to uh, value the formula. We have EBITDA times multiple equals value. EBITDA is just a math number. It's earnings before interest, tax, depreciation, amortization. It's basically the net cash flow of the business. And multiple is a little bit of math and a little bit of science or a little bit of art. Uh, the math part of it is it's basically the inverse of a cap rate, so I don't want to get into that. The art part of it is there are a couple of things that really can make big effect on multiple and a change of multiple, then going from a four to a five or a four to a six has a tremendous impact on value if you just do some of the math. Well, what would, what would change that, that multiple number? There's really two areas. One is risk in the business or risk in the industry. And the second part is the intangible assets that are locked up inside the business. What are those? We like to put those in four categories, what we call the four C's of capital. They are social, structural, human, and customer. And today I want to talk a little bit about structural. It's so critical to get structural capital right. We don't talk about it like that, but as soon as I start talking, you're going to go, oh yeah, that's, we need those things. It's the processes and it's the procedures. It's the way you scale up a business, right? So you don't have to reinvent it over and over. It's taking you know, what's going on in people's minds and the processes that are in the, the, the facility, the facilities themselves, the technology, and it's documenting it. it it's, it's, so it can't just walk out the door because somebody leaves and all of our, our intellectual capital that we hadn't documented walks out with it and there goes our value. So it's structural capital is, is taking all of those processes and the, what makes your people special and their ability to deliver to the customer and getting it documented so that we can repeat it, so we can scale up on it and we can transfer it to somebody at a future date. So think about those four C's, focus on structural capital. Have you documented your processes? Are you living to them? Is it, is it embedded into the, 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 the way you operate as a business? And you're gonna watch that value and remember that value grow. And remember value is just not about tomorrow. A company that's maximizing its value is delivering great income today as well as creating wealth for tomorrow. So if you like what you heard, check out our blog, Family Biz Matters, on our website, compasspt.com. Thank you.